Hello, Saints. This is Dr. Francis Miles, your host for this life-changing broadcast right here on the Order of Melchizedek television show. The show that is dedicated to teaching the body of Christ on the royal priesthood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Now listen, I have a powerful word from, for you today from heaven. I'm going to continue the series on uh, the miracles of Jesus. I just can't get over it just examining this with you. But before we do, we, we get into the word, I want you to check out this announcement. Then I'll be right back for a powerful manifestation of God's power and revelation knowledge that will just blow your mind. Amen. Thank you for joining us for this broadcast. Hallelujah. when Mary is in that crowd Padova is crying for them to choose Jesus over Barabbas but she doesn't understand the mystery of redemption that Jesus did not come to the world to die a normal death because a normal death does not do anything for you and I there should not be any effect of death on any part of your life the actual sign of Pentecost is the power of authorized utterance at a higher level where your words pierce the hearts of people and they can't shake the impression of what you created. Every one of us have a choice. You can choose blessing, you can choose cursing, you can choose life, you can choose death. Either one, every one of us have an opportunity to make a choice. Nada. If you're up against principalities and powers, en contra de principados, and Satan is knocking you around, y el enemigo te está dando contra ti, put praise on in your car. Pon alabanza. Put praise on Por, in your house. You see, God wants you to know today that He wants to pull you somewhere that maybe you don't know what it looks like, but it looks a whole lot better than wherever you at right now. God never changes His mind. He just may take you out of a spot that you should have been in that would, would have been easier for you, but he'll always put you right exactly where you're supposed to be. I want you to know it's not by your might, it's not by your power, but your spirit is going to raise up in you, and he's going to take you right through that mountain. Every knee shall bow, and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. In the midst of defilement, in the midst of evil, God has a remnant people of Samuels that have been raised in the midst of debauchery, have been raised in the midst of a house that is unclean and impure, and many of you are the Samuels that are being raised up, that your words will not fall on the ground. Listen, you really have to join us for that life-changing conference in October in the beautiful city of Atlanta, Georgia. If you ever been downtown Atlanta, then you are missing out. You need to come and join us. It will be supernatural. It's going to be a powerful move of God. So I'm really asking for you to seriously consider coming to join us for the King's Conference. Praise God. Last year we had Pastor Benny Hinn and Bishop to the Bismarck who did an amazing job, but this year... We have one of America's most anointed preachers, Dr. Lance Warnow, Katie Souza, myself. I'm telling you the music from the guys from IHOP, International House of Prayer in Kansas City. It's going to be an amazing time of the God encounter. You want to join us. Now listen, thank you for coming back to another life-changing episode. Now if this is your very first time to watching this broadcast, I salute you in Jesus' name. I believe it's not by accident that you landed on this show today. 
I want you to make sure that you DVR this show, that you never miss another episode, because trust me, you are not going to want to miss another episode. And uh, so we're going to be looking at a powerful subject that we began to deal with. It's been a series on, uh, on this network with our TV show uh, for, for a number of weeks, because it just felt like we are living in an age that desperately needs to be connected to the miracles of Jesus. There is so much supernatural, demonic paraphernalia going out there. There is so much uh, uh, demonic junk that's out there, but it just shows a culture that is in desperate need to get in touch with their supernatural side. The truth of the matter is whether people know it or not, whether they are born again or not, the truth of the matter is that all humans are spirit beings having a human experience. And so what happens at some point in their, in, their, in, their, in their growth, in their involvement, there will come a time when they, when they want to become, to get in touch with their divine side, the supernatural side. Uh, and, and the enemy is waiting to rush in there and deceive many. But the truth of the matter is that God is real. His miracles are real. And many of you are watching this program Get ready for a miracle because when I, you cannot talk about the miracles of Jesus without believing God to release some of those miracles into your life. You may be delivered today just watching this program. Amen. I'm actually hearing somebody who's, I'm seeing somebody who's actually watching us right now. I hear, I just heard some, some, uh, some ringing in your right ear, a lot of ringing in your right ear. This is something that you've been dealt with for quite some time. You've seen doctors over it, but they have not been able to help you get, stop the ringing in your ears. But, but God's power right now is touching you in Jesus' mighty name. Let us know what God did. A miracle just happened. That's what happens when you talk about the miracles of Jesus. So today we are going to look at another miracle Jesus did. Because we're, going, we're just going through the different miracles of Jesus in the Gospels. And learning more about the nature of the miracles, the nature of God, you know, how to release our faith for these miracles. Because the truth of the matter is God is not dead. Like the movie declares, he is alive and well. Amen. So in the gospel according to Mark, Mark's gospel, uh, uh, chapter 2, the Bible says this. And again, he entered Capernaum after some days, and it was heard that he was in the house. Man, I'm here to tell you Jesus is in the house. Miracles happen when Jesus is in the house. You know, and it was heard that he was in the house. And immediately many gathered together. Many gathered together, saw that there was no longer room to receive them. Not even near the door. Man, I'm telling you, saints, you know, the, when, when we begin, when the church begins to operate in the miracles of Jesus, the miracles of the Jesus of the Bible, instead of just use amazing, dazzling human philosophies, when we begin to operate in the miracles of Jesus, the real Jesus of the Bible, you'll be shocked how many people come cramming to your church, sir. You'll be surprised, madam, how many people come to your church looking not for you but for Jesus. There is in the human psyche a looking, and I believe that looking is the looking for Jesus. How do you know? Because when I got born again, that's when I realized all my search, all my yearning for, some, for meaning was hidden in a man I did not even know. Okay, I, I was a Catholic. I went to church. I heard about the name Jesus, but in, it, it, it was never in a personal manner. You know, so I didn't know that was what I was looking for. So I thought man, pleasure is what I'm looking for. I mean, get as mad as I can out of my life. You know, but the moment I came to Christ, I knew in that moment. That he is, the, he is the gap filler. He is the one filling the gap in the, in the hole in my heart that was looking for some supernatural expression about my life. Well, these people found Jesus. He was in the house. And they crammed the house. They filled that house. Because Jesus was in the house. And he preached the word to them. See, this is interesting. That Jesus knew that he could just move on right to miracles. But he doesn't do that. Because I think that's the problem with a lot of people that put miracles above the word. So Jesus is allowing us to put things in order. He's letting us know what it takes for the supernatural to break out. He preached the word. You see, the Bible tells in the book of Hebrews chapter 2 that God went working with them, confirming the word 
with miracles, signs, and wonders. Okay? He was confirming the word. He was confirming the word with miracles. So it's the word that is God confirms with miracles. So if you want to see the miracles of Jesus in your life, in your ministry, in your church, you have to give tremendous honor to the word. You got to let the word come forth. In, a, in, in, its, in, in its power, with un, undiluted, just let the word come forth and watch the miracles begin to flow. Then they came to him, bring a, paralyt a paralytic who was carried by four men. Can I tell you something? If you're ever in trouble, you better have some friends that can carry you to the one who can bring miracles into your life. Thank God for me. I mean, the Bible does not give us the men, the, the, the names of his friends, but thank God he had some friends. I don't know about you. But some of you are so much loners, you, when you're in trouble, you're in trouble by yourself. It is very important for us to show ourselves friendly, have some friends. You've got to have some people that just, you know, that care about you. They care about your life, your welfare, your destiny. They have not afraid to get in your face for you to get better. Okay? He had four men that cared about him. They carried this paralytic man to Jesus. So they are part of the miracle. They carried him to Jesus. You know, you want to be thankful to anybody who carried you to Jesus. I'm thankful that brother, there's a brother by the name of Joseph, Joseph Mubanga. It's, a, it's an African name. But this man was a notorious evangelist after me. He would not relent. He kept coming after me. No matter how many times I tried to brush him off, he kept coming after me. Until I got born again. I end up doing greater things around the world. My name is global. His is not. But boy, you better believe his name is global in heaven. He led me to the Lord. Okay, he came after me hard. You know, thank God for men and women in our life that are willing to carry us when we can't carry ourselves to the one who is able to, bring, to give us the miracle we need. And the Bible says they could, they could not hear him because, they, because of the crowd. They uncovered the roof where he was. These men were determined. Men, they were like, listen, we, we're going um, to tear the roof of the house. That means we're going to repair this after you've, after you've got healed. Now, that's the kind of faith that releases miracles. I mean, they tore the roof of somebody else's house. Imagine if that happened in your house. You are just in your house, and then before you know it, somebody's stirring in your roof. Man, come on now. They tore the roof of that house because they were determined that the crowd was not going to get between them and this man and their friend being healed by the only man who could heal them. His name was Jesus. Man, listen. Even Jesus was impressed because the level of faith, this was an expensive level of faith because you knew at when it was said and done, somebody had to repair the roof. And I know it was the same four men that went to repair the roof because they're the one that tore it up. But they were not going to let anything stand in the way of the paralytic friend receiving a miracle from Jesus. I mean, this story is so powerful, the Holy Ghost made sure it's in the Bible. You know... So watch this. So when they had broken through, they laid down the bed on, or, on which the paradigm man was, was lying. So when they broke through, talk to me now somebody. When they broke through, the Bible says they laid down the bed on which the paradigm man was lying. Man, I'm telling you, don't give up on your miracle until you break through. Sometimes we give, up at the, uh, we give up at the point of the breakthrough. If we were just pressed one more day, you would see the miracle of Jesus concerning the thing we've been believing God, God for in our lives. All these years, all this time. Listen, this man, this man, did, I mean, they kept pushing until they broke through. And they knew they broke through when the, when the bed of their paralytic friend talked to me, somebody. You know, uh, when their paralytic friend, you know, uh, you know, when their paralytic friend was being healed by the power of Almighty God, you know, and uh, uh, watch this, verse, verse, verse 6. When Jesus saw their faith, friends, listen, faith can be seen. Can God see your faith? What are you doing to show God your faith? Everybody can talk, talk is cheap, but there needs to be some action of faith a corresponding action of faith that shows God you believe. If you are pit and you are in the boat, you know, and you, if, you say, if you say to the Lord, Lord, if that's you bid me to walk, you can't stay in the boat. You've got to step out of the boat and walk on water. That is showing your faith. 
I don't know who I'm talking to today, but I believe God is talking to people right now. And it is time for you to show your faith. And as you show your faith to God, you're going to begin to see God, the God of miracles. And that's all he has been waiting for you, is for you to make an action of faith to begin to see the miracle begin to happen. Praise God. I, I remember praying for a woman who was crippled, but I was holding her hand. And God said to me, if you believe that she can get healed, why are you holding her hand? You have just replaced her clutches. I said, God, what do you want me to do? He says, let her go. Don't care about her falling. Just let her go. Man, I let her, I let her go. Then I closed my eyes because I knew I was going to get killed for making this woman fall to the ground. But instead of her falling to the ground, you know, God healed her before she fell. The Lord did the miracle. Can God see your faith? Listen, saints, there's some powerful things I want to download today. You know, but listen, uh, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back after this announcement because I, there is more of this revelation. And I've written a powerful book that I believe will change your life. My first prayer book. After many years of study, and looking at human phenomenon and praying for people in healing and deliverance, this book has finally come together. The book is loaded, my friend, with dangerous prayers. Dangerous prayers because any prayer that works for you is a dangerous prayer to the devil. Well, this book is loaded with 36 different types of prayers on 36 different types of evil altars we have identified that many people deal with around the world. The name of the book is Dangerous Prayers from the Courts of Heaven that Destroy Evil Altars. For more information on this book, visit at DangerousPrayersBook.org and order your copy today at DangerousPrayersBook.org. And as a TV offer to our viewers, for a donation of $35 or more, we will send you Dr. Francis Miles' life-changing book as our appreciation for sawing into this ministry. Praise God. I'm telling you, saints, God is a great God. I thank God for everybody that is supporting this ministry any, any, any way or fashion. I thank God for our partners who are very faithful. We, we will not be able to be on a network this powerful. I did not be in for our, our very devoted partners. So I just wanted to give a shout out to my partners. Now, if you're watching us for the very first time, I want to also encourage you to, 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 to subscribe to our social media channel. I mean, on YouTube, Francis Mouse International. I mean, go and subscribe. Amazing messages that will never be able to be aired on TV because they are longer than we are able to be on television. So you want to go to our YouTube channel and enjoy yourself. Or follow us on Facebook at Dr. Francis Mouse. Just click follow on Facebook and watch God, you know, just bless you with a bunch of messages, prayers that I pray. I pray some powerful prayers on social media once a week that you, I mean, one of those prayers is definitely what the doctor ordered for you. And you can really enjoy it right away by just subscribing to any of our YouTube channels, whether YouTube channel or our Facebook on Facebook. Amen. Praise God. Now, so we're talking about uh, that this man, when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, son, your sins are forgiven you. Now that's, that, now that's an interesting way to say it. When a man is clearly paralyzed and Jesus says, your sons, your sins are forgiven. Very, very interesting. interesting. But Jesus does not do anything out of tune. This is not a relapse in the mental capacity of Jesus. This is Jesus literally showing us the connection between sin and sickness. And a lot of the sicknesses, a lot of the infirmity that we are dealing with today in the world is because of sin. It is because of what sin and iniquity in the human bloodline or genome. So when your sins are forgiven, you are supposed to get healed. That's why healing is a children's bread. Healing and deliverance are the children's bread once you get born again. Why? Because your sins have been forgiven. Well, uh, it angered some Pharisees and Sadducees that were there. Some of the subscribers were sitting there and reasoning in their hearts said, Why does this man speak blasphemous? Blasphemy is like this. Who can forgive sins but God? Now, but now, even in their religious pride and anger, they did tell the truth. 
that only God can forgive sin. Therefore, Jesus was actually giving him a clue that he was not just a human being trapped in a human body. He was God with us. Emmanuel, God with us. God was in that physical body of dirt called Jesus. That's amazing. The Christos, the Christos, the Messiah, the anointed one was in the body of Jesus. God himself. The Bible says God was in Christ, reconciling the whole world to himself. So they are right. Only God can forgive sin. That's why Jesus did it. Because he knew he was God and he could forgive sin. And he, gave them, he, gave, he forgave the man of sins. But immediately, when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they reasoned thus within themselves, he said to them, why do you reason about these things in your heart? Why do you reason about these things in your heart? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven you, or to say, arise, take up your bed and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I said to you, arise, take up your bed and to your house. Take up your bed and go to your house. Immediately, my God, I love those kind of miracles. Immediately, he rose and took up his bed. Hallelujah. I believe right now there's somebody right now. I mean, I, I see you like you're paralyzed on your left side. And God, right now, God's power, you're beginning to get feeling on your left hand. You have not even had feeling on your left hand. Because you've been kind of paralyzed all the way, all the way that going down here, you know, and God is bringing feeling right now to your left hand. We want to know about it, that God healed you, Dr. Mouse. I wanted to know, I was watching you on television, and I was watching you, you know, and I heard you give this word of knowledge, and God's power came upon me, and I could not move my hands, and now God is healing me of a paralysis by the Spirit of God. Go to FrancisMouse.com. And then under the uh, 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 drop-down menu, click Testify. We have now a new system that allows allow you to be able to give a three-minute video testimony very quickly just from the camera on your phone. I mean, it's that quick. And we got your testimony uh, so we can celebrate with you with what God is doing. What a miracle working God we say. But, G but immediately the Bible says, watch this now. Immediately he rose up, took up, he took up the bed, and went out in the presence of them all, so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, we've never saw anything like this. Saints, let me tell you something. There's a world out there that is hungering, desperate to see through the church the miracles of Jesus break out. Pastor, if you are pressing for the supernatural, you are in the right path. Do not get comfortable just teaching and talking. You see, this gospel was not birthed with just talking. It is in the demonstration of the spirit and of power. That's what Paul the apostle says in, uh, in 1 Corinthians 2. He says, when I came among you, brethren, I was very determined to know nothing among you except Christ and him crucified. Why? So that your faith will not raise on the wisdom of a man's speech, my oratory nature of speech, but on the power of God. You know, and then he says the kingdom of God is not just in word, it's in power. Since I'm telling you God wants you to walk in the power of God. So, in, you know, I'm mean, listen, but you don't have to be a pastor to walk in the power of God. I remember I began to, God began to use me to heal the sick, cast out devils. When I was just a new believer, a couple of months later, I was thrust in the supernatural. When I began to believe, when I began to realize God works miracles, when God says, them that believe in my name, they shall cast out devils, they shall heal the sick. I said, Lord, I believe. I don't have to be an apostle, I just believe. And I began to see people getting healed. I really believe that an impartation being released right now via this program to men and women who want to pray for the sick. So if you want to be one of those people, you will say, Mas, I want to really have a, a high level of success praying for the sick. I want you to stretch your hands right now, and I'm going to believe God for on the air impartation for the supernatural healing and owning to come upon your life. Lord, Lord right now, I release by faith a supernatural impartation for the healing and owning. That Lord, put the file of healing in their hands. And whosoever they lay hands on, things will begin to happen. 
And Lord, I break the spirit of intimidation. I will cause them to think twice before they pray for the sick. Let them just go for it, Lord, and begin to see a God who's been waiting for them to take a step of faith so he can show them his miracles. In Jesus' mighty name. Since I'm telling you, I felt an on-air impartation. I believe God just released an awning. I mean, I can't wait to hear about testimonies of people getting healed because of you laying hands on them. Since, listen, we are going to continue on this powerful uh, level literally teaching on the miracles of Jesus. So again, I beseech you by the tender message of God, I'm saying right now you need to DVR this show so that you don't miss it. So that you can, anytime you can come, you can watch this TV, this TV, TV show, you know, even though you forgot the time, whatever happens, sometimes life happens, I DVR the shows that are important to me, DVR this, and I'm telling you, you'll be the, you'll be the better for it. If you ever miss it, just go to our social media uh, on, on Facebook or uh, our YouTube and you can catch up on some of our episodes. Again, this is Dr. Francis Miles, your host for the Order of Melchizedek television show. This is Dr. Miles saying shalom, shalom. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next broadcast as we continue with the miracles of Jesus. Have you wondered why all of a sudden in the music industry, around some of our biggest music celebrities, the expression of alter egos has exploded. What is an alter ego? Well, according to them, it is another personality that takes them over. See, but music was developed by God for worship. And you never really understand what worship is until you begin to disassociate it from much of the infiltration that has happened in the realm of music. So I have a powerful teaching on my YouTube channel and my Facebook channel. It is called Music, Idols, and Altars. Music, Idols, and Altars. And I show you the connection between music, idolatry, and altars, and the breaking out of altar egos. But most importantly, I show you the power of anointed music that delivers the soul, that can heal. The kind of music that was with King David, that when he sang it, demons left people. But the moment you sing one song, people are getting healed, eyes are being opened. If you are a worship leader, or you are somebody who wants to truly worship God, this teaching is life-changing. So please go to my YouTube channel, subscribe, and then on Facebook, follow me. Go to Dr. Francis Miles and follow, then on YouTube, subscribe. And I'm telling you, you can enjoy this powerful, life-changing message by just scrolling through the videos and enjoy yourself. I'm excited that you will be blessed by that word. Amen.